Good morning, and welcome to my day 26 of my 30-day personal improvement challenge. Today I'm giving up wheat. So, wheat, uh, wheat's wheat been pushed on us for a long time. It's a pretty healthy thing to have. It's in so many of our foods, our bread, uh, most of our bread, most of our cereals, um, pastas. There's, uh, there's a lot of things containing wheat. And uh, I'm not a celiac, although I think that kind of that that uh, problem people have is probably a result of how much wheat we've been eating so just a little short history we mostly ate fat and animals and fruits and vegetables mostly fruits and vegetables um, with a bit of meat for much longer than we've been eating um, wheat and grains uh, so part of part of why grains are Part, main part of our diet is because um, for the last 10,000 years as city civilization has grown uh, we've been supplanting our, our diet with a lot of a lot of these grains because they could be stored for a long time so people who had walled cities they could keep their their food in there in the form of grains and then if their city was attacked they could hold it down for a couple of years or whatever also you can feed a lot of people with it, and it, like I say, it lasts for a long time. So, it 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 is a food that serves the system. It's a food that um, works for people who are building city state stuff and are are not having a direct one on one feed on the ground relationship to the land. So, um, that's why it's been put into our, our foods and that's why it's in so many of our foods now and it's kind of like when when you're starving you eat this gross food and then you grow up or your family grows up and it becomes a delicacy well uh, wheat has become a main staple so there's a couple things wrong with wheat these days especially Canadian wheat one is that it's uh, it's got some GMOs and some uh, a lot of it's as a monoculture it's it's got uh, it's sprayed quite a bit so that's one issue with it, as well as when it's broken down into simple, simple flour, simple white sugar, or sorry, white refined flour. It um, it has a it has an interesting relationship with uh, alcohol and sugar in your body. Where I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I, I think it's like the bread and the sugar mix and uh, creates alcohol in your in your gut which makes digesting your food a lot harder and pulling the nutrients out of your food uh, almost impossible so people are stuffing themselves more and more but they're basically n starving nutritionally um, so I'm also giving so so that's those are basically some of the reasons is I, I don't think that it's a very clean crop and I also think that it wasn't ne meant to be in our staple a staple part of our diet um, biologically historically and uh, yeah and I like I say I don't think it has a, a good relationship to the rest of our our food that much now that being said am I going to give up all types of grains no. There are there are certain grains that I'll keep going with for a little while. Um, rye being one of them. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically what I'm giving up today. And and what I've realized uh, last night when I went to the pool, I, I I talked about how in my video yesterday how I couldn't get anything out of the vending machine and I had water. Um, so what I actually really like about this restriction is that. Um, Basically, there are going to be times, instead of looking at it like I have nothing to eat, I'm going to look at it like uh, an opportunity to fast. Um, okay, so this is this is where I'm going to drink water at this point today or tomorrow or whatever when, when there isn't a gluten-free option uh, for me. And that, that it's funny how you, you just change a belief and your emotions and your spirit and your mind will follow suit. So... For me, I'm going to be quitting wheat. It's going to be another dietary restriction, which is going to cut me off from a lot of things and, and a lot of opportunity to be normal. Like be normal. Pizza's gone. Although I guess uh, I guess there's gluten-free options. So I'm I'm going to be like I say, uh, changing my diet quite a bit here. But uh, in that in that interim time where I'm like crashing through it and getting getting readapted. 
there's going to be opportunities where I just feel the absence of, of something to eat, and I'm just going to treat that like fasting. So that's going to keep my mind happy and healthy about the choice that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I guess that's a, that's a short one today. I've got to run to work, giving up wheat. I have a couple friends who are celiacs, so it'll be interesting when we go out. Maybe we'll, I'll have a little more empathy and understanding for, for what they're going through. No more tempura, no more, uh, yeah, lots of things. So anyway, uh, I'm feeling good today. Uh, dance class, dance thing last night was great. My body's really feeling good, stretched out. And uh, yeah, all right, that's it. It's a short one today. See you tomorrow, guys. All right.